Hi, my name is Andre, and this is Cosmos Elementary. So, everyone should agree that a huge asteroid hitting Earth is not cool. Right? I hope. When people see in the media titles about a dangerous asteroid that is flying towards Earth, perhaps not many of those people take those titles seriously. And very often, if it is not a very reputable medium, it's just clickbait titles. Media talks about an asteroid that is likely to kill us all, but actually the chance of it colliding with Earth is 1 in 11 million. But that doesn't mean that there is no threat at all. On average, the Earth can be hit with one or two football field-sized asteroids one in several thousand years. That could already do a lot of damage, though only locally. Once in several million years, there could be a collision with the consequences on the global scale that could threaten our civilization. There is a list of the potentially hazardous near-Earth objects. Though it is very unlikely that a large object would hit Earth in the next several hundred years. But unlikely, it is not impossible. Also, we have to remember that we haven't discovered all of the potentially dangerous objects and the trajectories of the known objects are not known perfectly and they also can be altered. Because there is a non-zero chance of a large asteroid collision, now several defense systems are being worked on. What could be done in the case we learned that a large asteroid was likely to hit Earth? Some say it's not the best idea to go the Armageddon movie way nuking the asteroid. Earth could still be hit just by smaller fragments. Perhaps one of the most practical and realistic scenarios is simply to try to deflect an asteroid, change its course so it missed Earth. And currently some projects with this idea in mind are being worked on. This year the DART spacecraft is planned to launch, it is a part of IDA mission. It is supposed to travel to Didymus binary asteroid system and impact the smaller one in a pair. The second spacecraft, Hera, will remotely monitor consequences of the collision. Of course, to significantly change an asteroid's trajectory, we need to hit it hard. So we need a quite massive impactor. And here we have some problems. Today, humanity has only a certain variety of rockets that have their limits in what they are able to lift to space. So there is a chance that if we suddenly learned about an incoming asteroid, it could be too massive to deflect it with modern rockets in a limited time frame. Chinese researchers had an interesting take on that in a study published in Icarus Journal. As an example of a potentially dangerous asteroid, they use a famous Bannu asteroid. It was studied not so long ago by NASA spacecraft OSIRIS-REx, which collected samples and now is heading towards Earth and is planned to arrive in 2023. Bannu's diameter is about 500 meters or about a third of a mile. If it hit Earth, it could be the equivalent of 1200 megaton explosion. It is tens of thousands of times more powerful than some of the nuclear bombs. It would not destroy our entire civilization, but the effect would still be tragic. Bennu is in the list of the potentially hazardous objects. The highest odds of collision are thought to be between years 2175 and 2199. I've seen different estimates from 1 in 11,000 down to 1 in 2700. It may seem not that big of a chance, but again, it depends on what we compare it to. You probably won't change the trajectory of an asteroid the size of Bannu enough by hitting it with a single spacecraft. You would need a lot of those. Let's use NASA's Hammer project as an example. Simulations show that to change Bannu's course by 1.4 Earth radii, you would need at least 17 Delta IV heavy launches with 25 years window. And if we had only 10 years, it would take 75 launches or 79 of Chinese Long March 5 rocket launches. And the number of the required launches that high means higher risk of mission failure. Chinese researchers had an interesting idea. They write about the concept of the assembled kinetic impactor, in short, AKI. The idea is not to detach the final stage of the rocket from the impactor, so the whole thing would have a significantly larger mass. This way, a single launch would have a lot more impact. Scientists calculated that using AKI of Long March 5 rockets, having 10 years, it would reduce the required number of launches from 79 down to 23. And that makes the whole operation much cheaper and also less susceptible to failure. Great! I just hope we won't have to do that ever. But in space you never say never. So this was a short one. If this is your first time on my channel, normally I make longer videos. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment and subscribe. Bye!